the idea of this dish is to have everything green. I thought the contrast between the wonderful black mushrooms and green vegetables um, stir-fried together would be gorgeous. I hope it's going to work. We'll see. The proof will be in the pudding or the eating or whatever. I'm not overloading the amount of um, pepper because I think they're very strong flavour and they will tend to be too strong for the mushrooms if you're not careful. So I'm just putting a few. The peas I don't think will master flavour so you can have as many as you like. I'm going to start off after that when I've got the fire going. Um, with a bit of garlic and spring onions. Actually, I love the way in America they call spring onions scallions. And I've discovered that actually that's an ancient English word. Onions are absolutely an essential, I think, for virtually all mushroom cooking. But you can use all kinds of onions. You can use leeks, spring onions, shallots, garlic obviously is also jolly useful. I'm using this sort of nice fresh garlic, which is actually so much more easy to um, separate the skins. The mushrooms need very carefully picking over because what can happen is down inside you can get earwigs or some sort of bug that's actually sort of living in inside these little tubes of the of the mushroom so you have to carefully check them over But it's absolutely worth it because this, I think one of my all-time favourite mushrooms, they're fantastic. Okay, garlic and onions first. Little slat of garlic. Then the spring onions and the green peppers. The leek, and the idea of the leek is that it's going to all break up and you're going to get this sort of tangle um, of sort of like springs of circles of, of leaf running through everything. Already starting to give you this wonderful sort of refreshing green look. Look at that. All it lacks is really the wonderful taste of the mushrooms. Peas can go in. I'm going to keep it very undercooked and sort of really crunchy. That's what I want to do, just with that flavour of the mushrooms. Right, here we go. What I tend to do is, if it's looking a little bit dry, I give it a quick glass of wine so that I've got enough liquid. Yep, very suitable. It's doing just what I wanted it to do, that combination of black and green. I'm going to, at the very last minute, add the courgette. 
which is not really going to be cooked at all, so it'll be completely crunchy. Right. A little bit of flavouring. Fairly generous with the black pepper. And presto! Hopefully that's it. I'm planning this just to be a starter and I'm going to serve it on pieces of toast afterwards we're having lamb. This is woodland cookery at its best. There we go. I hope everybody loves it. Mm. I like it's that actually. Bit. I like that actually. Can you cut one in half? Yes. Have a go, darling. Mmm. Yep. Oops. Looks delicious. Ebony? One. You want a small one. one, do you, darling? Mm -hmm. That one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very yummy. Mmm. Mm. Like what do you think? Good. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. What a wonderful mushroom. Nothing to do with me at all.